Okay, so if you've been keeping up with the channel, then you already know how to play the Trap Trick Structure Deck, but what you may not know is what exactly do you do once you draw your hand? What is your opening combos? How do you run this deck in an actual game? You know all about the mechanics, you know how it works, you know what the end goal is, now how do we get there? In today's video, I'm going to show you five Trap Tricks combos that you can do with even just a single copy of the Trap Tricks, Beware of Trap Tricks Structure Deck. So let's get right into it. First of all, this these are all two card combos except for the last one which is a three card combo and you will almost always be able to pull off any of these combos assuming you're running three of the Structure Deck. So first, Trap Tricks Mermaleo plus any Trap Hole card, any whole normal trap. Um, this actually works with any normal trap at all, like you can use Evenly Matched or Artifact Sanctum, but for the, um, it works best if you have a whole normal trap. So first of all, what you're going to want to do is you're going to summon your Trap Tricks Mermaleo, normal summon her. This will allow you to add a whole normal trap to your hand. Now if you already have whole Yueta in your hand, then you're just going to add any trap hole to your hand, um, whichever is best for the situation. But if you have a hole in your hand and not whole Yueta, then you want to add whole Yueta to your hand. Then you're going to use your Mermaleo to go into Trap Trick Sarah. This is the main combo of the deck, is just busting out Sarah and using whole Yueta to get off her effects. So that's what we're going to do now, we're going to set our whole Yueta then we can discard a normal trap, any normal trap, to activate Holy Weta. Holy Weta will then be special summoned to the field as a level 4 monster. Now since we've just activated a normal trap, Sarah's effect will go off, allowing us to special summon a trap tricks from the deck. Now again, this depends on what's in your graveyard, so ideally you want to discard a whole normal trap, but for some whatever situation in which you don't have a whole normal trap, maybe you have Evenly Match, maybe you have Sanctum, maybe you just have Trap Trick, um, if, if in that case, if you don't have a whole normal trap in your graveyard, you want to summon uh, Mermelo, Mermaleo, um, because her effect will go off regardless of whether or not your opponent has spell or traps, but assuming you have a hole in your graveyard, which you should by this point, you want to special summon your trap tricks Dianea. Dianea's effect will then activate, allowing us to set a whole normal trap from our graveyard. And then of course, since a trap tricks monster activated its effect, Sarah's other effect will activate, allowing us to set a second whole normal trap from our deck. So we'll go ahead and set, say, Bottomless, for example. And then finally, you want to overlay your Dianea with your Holyutea to special summon a Trap Tricks Rephlasia in defense mode. <clears throat> so right off the bat, we have three disruptions on board. We have two set whole traps, Bottomless and Floodgate Trap Hole. These can be any whole traps, depends what you're going up against, um, determines what you want to use. And then, of course, we have Rephlasia's effect, who can detach one to send a whole normal trap from your deck to the graveyard and basically activate its effect. Um, this, of course, when you use Reflation's effect on your opponent's turn, will trigger Sarah's effect to set another normal trap from your deck, and then when you activate normal traps on your opponent's turn, Sarah's other effect will activate, allowing you to special summon a Trap Tricks monster, for example, Pudica, who will allow you to special um, to banish one of your opponent's special summon monsters. So we have a lot of disruptions on board, and then that's just with two cards, so keep in mind, you'll have three other cards in your hand to then set. They'll most likely be Trap Holes, so you can set those on the field as well. So that's our first combo. The next combo... Oh yeah, one last thing to say about this is that Reflasia is your fifth summon for the turn, meaning your opponent can activate Nibiru. However, if they do, you can use Reflasia's effect right away to detach one and then send your Gravedigger's Trap Hole to the graveyard. This will trigger Gravedigger's effect and um, negate the effect of Nibiru. Okay, so the next combo is if you open up with Trap Tricks Mantis and any normal trap card. Again, this works better if you have a, a whole normal trap in your hand, and it still works if you have whole Yueta, but it's a bit different. So, first what we want to do is we're going to summon our Trap Tricks Mantis. Then we're going to activate her effect when she's normal summoned to add a Trap Tricks to the hand. The one we're going to grab now is Trap Tricks Arachnocamper. And I add Arachnocamper to the hand. Again, this works with just one copy of the structure deck. As you'll see, you don't need multiple copies of anything. Though this will end in multiple copies of one thing, but there is another option. Um, so with now what we want to do is use uh, Trap Tricks Mantis to Link Summon Trap Tricks Sarah. Since we control a Trap Tricks monster, we can now Special Summon Trap Tricks Arachnocamper. 
And then since her effect was activated, this will trigger Sarah's effect, allowing us to set a whole trap from our from our deck. Um, so what we're going to set is, of course, Trap Tricks Hoyueta. And then, of course, we can discard a normal trap from our hand, any normal trap, to activate the effect of Hoyueta, which will then special summon itself. And then since a normal trap was just activated, Trap Tricks Sarah's effect will activate, allowing us to special summon a Trap Tricks from our deck. And of course, we are going to go into Trap Tricks Dianea. Now again, if you did not have a whole normal trap in your hand, which you really should, but if you didn't, um, then you won't have one in your graveyard, in which case you want to go for, um, since we're not concerned with setting off the effect of Sarah, you can go into any other Trap Tricks. I would still recommend Mermelo, um, just to have her in the graveyard, or Pudica to have her in the graveyard to bring back as well. Um, but what we're going to go into normally will be Trap Tricks Dianea, whose effect will then set a whole trap from our deck, uh, from our graveyard, sorry, to the field. Right, and now there are two different options we can do. So first we can overlay, simply overlay Hoyueta and Dianea to go into Rafflesia. Um, this is a fairly decent setup. We have one set card, we have Sarah on the field, we have Rafflesia for a disruption, and of course we have Arachna Camper to, pr to protect our set cards. Um, but another option that you might want to go into, so this this is great for starters, this is great and keeps Arachna Camper on board to protect your back row, um, but another option that might be better is instead uh, Exceed Summon Alamaris. Then with the effect of Alamaris you can detach both her materials to then bring back your Trap Tricks Mantis from the graveyard. Special Summon her to the field, this will allow you to reset um, the hold that you just set on the field. The reason you want to do this is because holes set by the effect of Dianea will be banished during your end phase, but if you reset it with Mantis' effect, it won't be banished. And the other reason to do this is if, you, of course, you have other hole cards in your hand and you don't want your opponent to know which one is which, you can set it somewhere else and reset your board. Um, and then, of course, we can use these to overlay to go into Trap Tricks Rafflesia. Another thing that you have with this is, of course, the effect of Hoyutea, which can be banished to um, special summon a Trap Tricks from your graveyard just to get that going again. Um, this, of course, can be used later on to trigger the effect of Mantis. If you want to keep Arachna Camper on board, um, you can, you know, use Reflacia's effect to detach your Hoyueta and then use Hoyueta's effect to special summon the Mantis, if that is an option. Alright, for the next combo is if you open with Trap Tricks Pudica and Trap Tricks Mermaleo. So first of all, what we want to do is normal summon our Trap Tricks Pudica. This will trigger Pudica's effect, allowing us to add Trap Trick Garden to our hand. We can then activate our field spell, Trap Trip Garden, a great addition to the deck. This will give us an extra normal summon for the turn. And then uh, what we want to do is use Pudica to link summon Trap Trick Sarah. Now with Sarah on board, we want to use the effect of Trap Trick Garden, giving us an extra normal summon to normal summon our Trap Tricks Mermaleo. This will trigger Mermaleo's effect on normal summon, allowing us to add a trap, uh, allowing us to add a whole normal trap to the hand. So we just want to go for any whole normal trap at this point. Let's say um, Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare, for example. And then this will trigger the effect of Trap Tricks Sarah. Since a Trap Tricks Monster's effect was activated, we can then set a whole trap from our deck. So what we want to set now is, once again, Hoyueta. Now we can discard the trap hole that we added to activate the effect of Hoyuetea, which will then special summon her to the field, and this will activate Sarah's secondary effect, allowing us to special summon a Trap Tricks monster from our deck. As usual, we're going to go into our Trap Tricks Dianea, whose effect will then trigger, allowing us to set a trap hole card from our graveyard, setting the one that you discarded earlier, now we're going to use Hoyueta and Dianea to go into our Trap Tricks Penguicula. I said it once, woohoo! I said it right, I mean, woohoo! <laughs> we're going to go into Penguicula and use her effect to detach... Um, yeah, we're going to use her effect to detach one material, allowing us to add a Trap Tricks monster to our hand. And what we're going to want to add now is our Trap Tricks Arachna Camper. This will allow us to have Arachna Camper in hand, whose effect is a quick effect, um, which will then allow us to special summon her on our opponent's turn at any time, or special summon her now, just to give our back row a little bit more protection. Um, it's good to have her in hand. This special summon can also cause a bit of a disruption, um, depending on what your opponent plays as well, so it's best to keep her in hand to use that quick effect next turn. And finally, what you want to do is you want to use your Trap Trick Garden's second effect to banish the Pingu on your field. 
and special summon Dianea from your graveyard. And then of course, as always, we overlay these two in order to go into Trap Tricks Reflasia. Another option that could have been done would be to go into Kularia, but it's much better to have the Reflasia on board instead. Alright, so this ends us off with Reflasia on board for one disruption, one trap hole from the deck. We have a trap hole set already, which can be any trap hole. And then, of course, we also have Trap Tricks Holueta in the graveyard, which we can banish on our opponent's turn to Special Summon Pudika. Pudika will then um, banish one of your opponent's Special Summon monsters. And then we have Arachnocamper in the hand to disrupt some of our opponent's effects by special summoning and also to protect our back row when she's on the field. And of course doing any of this will trigger the effects of Trap Trick Sarah, giving us more resources on the board to use for next turn. Alright, for this next combo we need Trap Tricks Pudica, Trap Tricks Mantis and any normal trap card. Again, works best if it is a whole normal trap card. Okay, so what do we do with this? First of all... Just like before, we normal summon our Trap Tricks Pudica. This will allow us to add Trap Trick Garden from our deck to the hand. <coughs> we can then use, once again, use Pudica to special summon Trap Tricks Sarah from our extra deck. As always, this is basically how all Trap Tricks combos go, as we go into Sarah and then go into uh, more normal traps to trigger her effect, go into Holy Weather, sorry, to trigger her effect, as well as the monster effects to trigger those as well. So next we're going to activate our Field Spell Trap Trick Garden, just like before, and use its effect to have an extra normal summon to summon the Trap Tricks Mantis. When Trap Tricks Mantis is normal summoned, we can add a Trap Tricks monster from our deck to the hand. So once again, we're going to add our Trap Tricks Arachna Camper, our favorite extender. And this will trigger Sarah's effect, allowing us to set a whole normal trap from our deck. And of course, as usual, we're going to go for Trap Tricks Holy Wetter. Holy Taya? Holy Holy Taya! Holy Taya, Trap Tricks Holy Taya. Alright. <clears throat> Next up, since we have a Trap Tricks on the field, we can special summon our Trap Tricks Arachna Camper. At this point, you could also trigger Sarah's effect instead to set the Holy Wetter, but I just did it earlier. It doesn't matter which way you do it. And now we're going to do is we want to overlay our Arachna Camper with our Mantis in order to special summon Trap Tricks Reflasia. This is our fifth special summon, and the reason we want to do this here instead of activating Holy Wetter is to um, have protection against Nibiru. So this is our fifth summon. And just like discussed before, you can use Reflacia's effect to send uh, Gravedigger's Trap Hole to the graveyard if your opponent activates Nibiru from here onwards, because next we're going to use our sixth special summon by activating the effect of Trap Tricks Holy Wetter, special summoning that to the field. This will, as usual, trigger the effect of Trap Tricks Sarah, who we will use to special summon, uh, sorry, we had to discard a, our normal trap to activate Holy Wetter's effect. Um, now we use Sarah's effect to special summon once, as always, Trap Tricks Dianea. Trap Tricks Dianea will then allow you to set the whole card that you just set um, that you just sent to the graveyard. And now we can overlay our Hoyueta with our Dianea in order to special summon a second Trap Tricks Reflasia to our field. Having two Reflasias on the field, Reflasia is a once per turn effect, not a hard once per turn, so you can use both of them on the same turn. Um, you can then trigger Sarah's effect to, to set another hole trap, and then of course you have a hole set on your field already. And once you use this Reflasia's effect um, by detaching Holy Wetter, you then have access to Pudica in your graveyard. Another option that you might want to consider is you sending both of them to the graveyard to Link Summon our Trap Tricks Cularia. This will allow us to reset the hole on our field and also give us Cularia's effect during the end phase to special summon a Trap Tricks monster from your graveyard in defense mode, which at the moment would be uh, Dianea. Um, though her effect won't go off during your first end phase if it's the same turn that you summoned her the first time. Um, and you probably don't want to use Pudica though, because you want her to be live for your opponent's turn when they special summon a card, but if it's not the first turn, then that is also an option. Um, so this is... It's another option, it gives us the same amount of disruption, but normally I would say that having two Reflasias on field is probably better. However, Cularia does have more attack, which will allow you to go into the OTK on your second turn. And of course, she special summons another Trap Tricks from your graveyard, which again, helps set up for the OTK on the next turn. 
Okay, for our final combo is in case you don't get any of those, those are the better options, but this is a very, the most basic combo, just in case you don't get any of your starters. What you want is a Trap Tricks Hole Ueda, any normal trap, preferably a hole, and any Trap Tricks monster. This works with any Trap Tricks monster, but if you have one of the ones mentioned earlier, then use that instead. So what you're going to do here is you're going to normal summon your Trap Tricks Vesiculo, then send it to the graveyard to, sorry, you're going to normal summon, um, Oh, let me start that again. So what you're going to do here is you're going to normal summon the Trap Tricks that is in your hand. This can be any Trap Tricks monster. Then you're going to send it to the graveyard to Link Summon Trap Tricks Sarah as per always. Then you're going to set your Trap Tricks Hoyueta and discard a whole normal trap in your hand, preferably to activate Hoyueta's effect, um, which will special summon her to the field. This will trigger Sarah's effect, allowing you to special summon a Trap Tricks monster from your deck. We're going to go for a Trap Tricks Dianea, wherever she is, there she is. Now again, if you don't have a whole normal trap in your hand, then it's probably better to go for a Mermaleo to trigger that effect, um, regardless of whether your opponent has cards, but you should have a whole normal trap in your hand to discard. So since Dianea has just been summoned, we're going to set our Floodgate Trap Hole from the graveyard. Set that on the field, this will trigger the effect of Trap Trick Sarah when a Trap Trick's effect is activated. Sarah will allow us to set a trap, um, a whole normal trap from our deck. So we've already got Floodgate Trap Hole, so let's go for a Bottomless, for example. And then finally, as always, we overlay Dianea and Hoyutea in order to go for Trap Trick's Reflasia. And then we have it, that is all of the five starter cards, the, that is all of the five starter hand openings that we can go into all of the combos. This again works with even a single copy of the structure deck, you only need one copy of the Trap Trick structure deck to go into any of these combos, which is fantastic. That's the great thing about the Trap Trick structure deck, is that you don't actually need three, it just works a whole lot better if you have three, but as shown here, as long as you have, um, just keep in mind that these combos also work if you have the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine instead of Hoyueta, you can use Brigadine's effect. Um, it just means that you won't be able to discard a whole normal trap from your hand, which would of course mean that we can't use Dianae's effect, so in that case you want a special summon Mermaleo to trigger her special summon effect, um, but this still works. So. It's very likely that you will probably, if you're just running one of the structure deck, you'll probably go off of this final combo most of the time, um, because you're not as likely to get one of your main starters. However, you are still somewhat likely, not equally likely, but somewhat likely to get either Hoyutea or Phantom Knights of Shade Brigandine in your hand on the first turn, along with a Trap Tricks monster along with a Trap Tricks monster, which will allow you to go into this combo. So those are your going first combos, those are your first turn combos, this will set up your field to disrupt your opponent completely, just stop any summons, any, pretty much any monster effects, anything that they do with a monster, um, and even some spell and trap cards that you can destroy with Mermaleo's effect. Um, so what you really want to do is just disrupt your opponent, and then on your second turn, uh, the ideal card to go into will be your Tractrix Adipus, just to set up the OTK. Um, Adipus is fantastic for an OTK. Uh, let's just do a quick demonstration here of how that might look, since I've got a hand here that I can use. So, we've got the Mantis hole, um, so we're going to summon Mantis, which will allow us to add Arachna Camper, and then use Mantis to go into Sarah, then special summon Arachna Camper, this would normally trigger Sarah's effect to set um, Hoyueta from our deck, but since we already have Hoyueta in our hand, we don't need to do this, so instead we can just set a Floodgate Trap Hole. Whoops, don't banish face down, I wanted to set you. And then of course we set our Hoyutea. Discard the hole in our hand to activate it, special summoning her to the field. This will trigger Sarah's effect to special summon Dianea from our deck. And then of course Dianea will activate allowing us to set a whole normal trap from our graveyard. And then we overlay Hoyueta and Dianea in order to special summon Trap Tricks Reflasia. Or alternatively we can go into Alamaris to special summon the Mantis. I think in this case I am going to go for the Alamaris combo just to have a bigger monster on board and because... Let's just say I'm not worried about my back row for now because who knows what my opponent has. So now we're going to detach two to special summon the Mantis. That's not where I want to do at all. Special Summon the Mantis. And then this will bounce the card that we set earlier. Um, this will bounce the card that we set with Dianae's effect. Adding that to the hand just so it doesn't get banished. And now we can set two cards wherever we may. 
So right now we've got a lot of disruption on board. We have, um, oh, of course, now we want to overlay these two in order to go into Trap Tricks Reflasia. So right now we've got a lot of disruption on board. We've got our Reflasia. We've got three set cards, including Artifact Sanctum. We've got an Ash Blossom in the hand. So let's say our opponent does something. We may want to discard the Ash Blossom to negate that effect. Uh, we may want to Floodgate Trap Hole something just to stop that. Um, or we may even want to use Reflasia's effect to trigger the Bottomless. Let's say by detaching this, just a bottomless something, you never know what your opponent's going to have. And then of course we have Artifact Sanctum, which will allow us to special summon an Artifact from our deck, which will be Artifact Morotark, will allow us to destroy a face-up card our opponent controls. Now we have a pretty beefy board on field, and our opponent basically has nothing to defend with, so if we go into our draw... Alright, we got Mermaleo, that's a perfect card, another opening, so we normal summon Mermaleo, uh, use its effect to add a trap hole card from our deck to the hand. Since we don't have any other hole cards in our hand, we're just going to go for a standard trap hole card, let's say uh, Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare for example. That's a decent enough card. Alright, now what we can do is, um, since we've just used our Trap Trick's effect, actually, we can use Sarah's effect to set another hole from our deck, which is just fantastic, set that. Okay, and now we can use our weakest trap hole, our weakest trap tricks monsters to go into our um, Adipus. This works better if you have more trap tricks on your field. Yep, she's special summons from the hand. Um, but works just fine this way as well. I don't think that that was a fair enough trade actually. So this does actually, even with just those two, put um, more attack points on the field. So this gains a thousand, this gains a thousand, this is 2100. So let's just do the math right here. Um, also, also we can use Adipus' effect. Once per turn you can target face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of insect or plant monsters you control, which is two. Negate their effects and then banish one normal trap from the graveyard to destroy one of those cards. Of course we have plenty of normal traps in our graveyard, so we can banish any of them. And then as well we can also banish our trap tricks whole Weta to special summon a trap tricks from our graveyard. What do we want to grab? Uh, let's say we go for a Dianea since she has the most attack points. Now we've got a pretty beefy board. All of our trap tricks monsters gain a thousand. Let's do the math real quick. So that's 2800 for Adipus, 3200 for Alomaris, 2700 for our, our Dianea and already that's game and then an extra 21 to get rid of whatever we set with Floodgate Trap Hole. Boom. That is a total of, oh boy, that is um, 8,000, 10,000. That is a total of 10,800 points of damage in total if, you know, with whatever we've got on board. And we have some pretty powerful monsters including a 3,200 attack point Alomera. So that is the OTK. Um, that, of course, you can only do on your second turn, and you only want to do on your second turn when you can actually attack. Um, but yeah, you may be able to do it on your first turn if you're going second. Um, assuming you have, like, an evenly mash, take care of that. But there you go. That is the main OTK of the deck, and that is how you're going to finish off your opponent. So thank you very much for watching. Also, if you triggered the effect of Gravedigger's Trap Hole, that's another 2,000. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Do feel free to leave any extra advice that I haven't mentioned already. And please check out my How to Play the Trap Tricks deck, which will help you a lot, as well as my 3 times Trap Tricks Structure deck, um, which is the deck that I'm using right here, which is a much better version just to get all these comments combos off, but as you see, all of these combos only really use one copy of each card that comes with the structure deck, so it is perfectly viable to just use one copy of the structure deck. It just, it doesn't work as well, um, but of course it is still viable, there are definitely, it is definitely able to pull off and is not too bad, so you can still do that, um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, my name has been Senkara, and until next time, see ya.